வெல்கம் டு மனசநல்லு கவர்மெண்ட் மாடல் கேர்ள்ஸ் ஹையர் செகண்டரி ஸ்கூல் யூடியூப் சேனல் திஸ் வீடியோ லெசன் பிரசன்டட் பை வனிதா தேவி டுடேஸ் டாபிக் எக்கனாமிக்ஸ் யூனிட் ஒன் கிராஸ் டொமஸ்டிக் ப்ராடக்ட் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் க்ரோத் அண்ட் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் கிராஸ் டொமஸ்டிக் ப்ராடக்ட் இஸ் த மார்க்கெட் வேல்யூ ஆஃப் ஆல் த ஃபைனல் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீசஸ் produced in the country during a period of time but we should know what are the goods and services goods are tangible items while services are activities which are intangible tangible means you can feel and touch whereas intangible you could not market value market value is the price at which goods and services are sold in the market Next, we will see the national income. National income is a measure of the total value of goods and services produced by an economy over a period of time, normally a year. National income is called as gross national product, GNP or national dividend. Now, we will see the various terms associated with measuring of national income. first one gross national product second one gross domestic product third one net national product fourth one net domestic product fifth one per capita income sixth one personal income seventh one disposable income we see the terms one by one gross national product gnp gross national product is the total value of goods and services produced and income received in a year by domestic residents of a country gnp can be calculated by adding c consumption i investment g government expenditure the difference of export and import value with the net factor income from abroad next we are going to gdp gross domestic product is the total value of output of goods and services produced by the factors of production within the geographical boundaries of the country we will see the nnp net national product is arrived by making some adjustment with regard to depreciation that is we arrive the net national product so nnp is equal to gnp minus depreciation next we will see the ndp net domestic product ndp is a part of the gross domestic product it can be obtained by deducting the depreciation from gdp so ndp equal to gdp minus depreciation next important term is per capita income per capita income is an indicator to show the living standard of people in a country it is obtained by dividing the national income by the population of a country next personal income personal income is the total money income received by individuals and households of a country the last term is disposable income disposable income means actual income which can be spent on consumption by individuals and families thus it can be expressed as dpi equal to personal income minus direct taxes next we will see the methods of calculating gdp in our country we calculate the gdp through three approaches first one expenditure approach second one the income approach third one is value added approach we see the approaches one by one first is expenditure approach gdp is measured by adding the expenditure on all the final goods and services produced in the country during a specific period next the income approach this method looks at gdp from the perspective of the earnings of the men and women who are involved in producing the goods and services the last approach is value added approach the goods used to produce tea tea powder milk and sugar or intermediate goods since they form a part of the final product is the cup of tea if the value added approach the value added by each intermediate good is summed to estimate the value of the final good next we see the importance of gdp first one study of economic growth 
unequal distribution of wealth problems of inflation and deflation comparison with developed countries of the world estimate the purchasing power public sector next one gate to economic planning these are the importance of gdp that is the gross domestic product next comes limitations of gdp several important goods and services are left out of the gdp like parental care is not included in the gdp because it is not sold in the market likewise clean air which is vital for a healthy life is left out of the gdp we'll see the gdp measures only the quantity but not the quality because income is being unequally distributed now we'll see the composition of gross domestic product indian economy is divided into three sectors first one primary sector second one secondary sector third one tertiary sector we'll see the sectors one by one first one primary sector agriculture sector is known as primary sector agriculture based allied activities are cattle farming fishing mining forestry coal etc comes under the primary sector next is secondary sector industrial sector is secondary sector important industries are iron and steel industry cotton textile industry jute industry sugar industry paper industry petrochemical industry automobile industry cement industry comes under the sectors next we'll see the tertiary sector tertiary sector is known as service sector it includes government scientific research transport and communication trade postal and telegraph and banking and education entertainment healthcare and information technology etc comes under the service sectors now we'll see the contribution of different sectors in gdp of india service sector is the largest sector of india india ranks second in the agriculture sectors sixth in the industrial sectors and eighth in the service sectors in the world sector wise contribution of gdp next we are coming to the important topic economic growth and economic development amartya sen the economist says that economic growth is important aspect of the economic development first we will discuss about the economic growth economic growth is the quantitative measure which considers the rise in the output produced in an economy or nation in a particular period then what is the economic development economic development is the improvement in the living standard of people in this topic itself we'll say the human development index that is hdi hdi is apt tool to measure the real development in an economy now we'll see the differences between economic growth and economic development economic growth is the quantitative change economic development is the rise in the output with the advancement of the hdi that is human development index economic growth is the narrower and quantitative measure economic development is a broader and qualitative measure economic growth is the rise in parameters like gdp gnp fdi etc economic development is a rise in life expectancy rate infant mortality rate poverty rate literacy rate etc economic growth is short term nurture economic development is long term in nurture economic growth prevents in developed nation economic developed in developing countries economic growth is increased in national income economic development is increased in real national income that is per capita income economic growth is for certain period of time economic development is for continuous process economic growth is an automatic process economic development is highly dependent on government intervention 
Economic growth does not focus us on equal distribution of wealth among all its people. Economic development focuses on equal balanced and distribution of wealth among all individuals of the country. Now we'll move on to the development path based on GDP and employment. In the development path of India, it is first undertook the policy of closed trade. This was to give a thirst to domestic industries and reduce dependence on foreign products and companies. The next important topic is growth of GDP and economic policies. The economic policies are first one agriculture policy, second one industrial policy, third one new economic policy. First agriculture policy. Agriculture policy to develop to domestic agriculture. Some agriculture policies are price policy, land reform policy, green revolution, irrigation policy, food policy and agriculture labor policy. Second is the industrial policy. Industrial policy to create employment and makes or the economy self-sufficient. Textile industry policy, sugar industry policy, price policy of industrial growth. Third is important topic is new economic policy. It is commonly known as LPG. LPG means that is liberalization, privatization and globalization. Next we see the some other policies in India. Trade policy, employment policy, currency and banking policy, physical and monetary policy, wage policy, population policy. Next, we have come to the final topic of GDP, the growth of India. According to International Monetary Fund World Economic Outlook, GDP growth rate of India is projected at 7.3% and India is the fastest growing nation among the world and India ranks 5th place in this. Thank you children. Let me meet you in the next class.